Hi, this is Mario Gedeke here with Boulevard TV. Um, today, I'm joining, or somebody's joining me, it's Andre Brazo from Innovate Business Solutions. Hi, Andre, how are you? That was probably the worst start to one I've I, ever I, seen I, in I, my I, life. Thank okay. you. Okay. And you got, inter you got interviewed a few times. I, like I said, you were one of my first ones. I'm nervous. Why are you You're, so nervous? I don't know, man. You, well, no, actually, you know what? There's, you know how to handle a gun. And I got to be, you know, like you were just in, in the bush, like, and you got, got, you know, you were able to get a few little animals. That is amazing. So I got to be careful. I don't want to get killed. Oh, I gotta, yeah. You know, got to be, got to be careful you're, here. <laughs> oh, you're ridiculous. Well, thanks, Mario. This is great. Get a chance to sit down and, and have a conversation like we do so many other times. Usually it's over a coffee. Go, what would you like? Do you want cream and sugar in it? I'm like, no, it's all good. Whatever. What? No, it's, he needs some caffeine. Beer. Well, okay. Beer, it's even your socks. Even my socks? Even the socks oh, are geez. on beer. It's like you, you, you're giving it away all in one, man. Terrible. This Terrible. is unbelievable. Yeah, and you probably got some I got, I got, I, socks. I got the multicolored socks, like I usually do. Oh. But you look great today. Like, well, not always. Oh, thank you. But, uh, but today you do. It's a lot of fun. Um, so like I said, you were just recently gone. You needed, you needed a little bit of time off. Yeah, and you went. Off. You went out, and you went to. So I went to the Yukon. So it's been a lifelong dream of mine to go to the Yukon. So probably not necessarily the best time for me to go, be going away with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now. But but it was social distancing. So you, there well, was, it's not yeah. like there were a lot of people up there. Absolute social distancing. So yeah, I flew to uh, flew to Whitehorse about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And what was great is it was a direct flight with uh, uh, Air North. Nice. And it flies directly from uh, Kelowna right to to Whitehorse. So I flew up there and then. Spent one night and then took a float plane in. It's about 150 miles. Float plane in and uh, did a little bit of, uh, all, you know, I was out hunting. Yeah. Right? And one of the things I've always liked to do, and I think it's really important for a lot of business owners and leaders, is take, take some time and decompress. Because mm -hmm. so many times you're inundated with information, 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 decision making. You need to get away from all that stuff every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So what I have found has worked well for me and I haven't done in a few, few years, just get off the grid. Like just be gone. Mm -hmm. You have no cell service. You have no, no internet service. You have no contact with the outside world. And all you're doing is you're, you're in the environment. And you just, you're just soaking it in. So, so you needed time off. Yeah. And, uh, and there's, there's, I would assume it was because of this big campaign you guys were putting together about managing the IT. You guys took over a business in Calgary or in... Yeah, Rural. expanded back into Alberta. So, I mean, you've known me for a while. And, and how I ended up in the Okanagan is I sold my businesses in Alberta, yeah. Yeah, which was the same business. And I was very proud of it, did an excellent job. And, you know, life, life takes some turns sometimes. And, um, you know, I moved here actually to expand that business across British Columbia. And then um, just as we were moving here, my wife's health, which hadn't been... You know, good for many years. Mm -hmm. I really kind of took a turn, and I decided to completely focus on on, on Katia's health, and um, and sell that. But we just decided to keep this little business here for ourselves and rename it Innovate. Um, but you know, after the surgeries, everything turned out well, and and she's better now. Oh, she's better. She is now. like she's, she's looked like a spirit. She she's fantastic, and so that worked out really well. So I wasn't really done with my job there yet. I hadn't finished everything I need done, but you know what? You sold it, had a five-year non-compete, non-solicit. That's, that's the way business goes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this has been very interesting, interesting times. So recently we made a decision um, when my old business had sold in causing a lot of big, you know, transition with the market in Alberta. And many of my former employees said, hey, you know, are you interested in coming back? Would you be interested in opening up again? We'd love to join you. And I thought, and I thought, and I go, it's not necessarily the best time to do it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go mm -hmm. back. I wasn't quite finished yet. So we opened up operations in, in Red Deer, Edmonton, and Calgary and sparked back up. Wow. And I had some real good people that I used to work with, some I worked with, some I hadn't, I'd been associated with before. And they all jumped and, and joined to, uh, to come join the Innovate, the Innovate team and expand back into Alberta. So what do you, what do you focus on? Like um, you do, obviously you do printing business, but you also manage IT as well beside yeah. that entire... So, right, so managed IT is something that we, we sparked into about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I looked at what's happening within the business world as far as in the copiers and the printers and, and the big plotters that we sell, and that market is going to be changing. Um, so print volumes have been static, so it's not like anybody's printing anymore, and if anything, it's starting to get a little bit less. Mm -hmm. So I had to say, to be, I guess I had two options. Option one, sell. 
sell mm -hmm. the business to a large multinational who would probably want to have this business for the name and for the distribution we have, or transition the business to be long term. And you know what? I've sold a business once. I don't really feel like doing that again. And you're not done yet. I'm not done yet. I really enjoy the business environment because what it does is business does allow me to give back. And so Innovate has become sort of a vehicle for me to pursue other things. And one of the biggest things is philanthropy. And actually, that brings me back to this painting that was acquired <laughs> at a fundraiser. That was a fundraiser. That was where I kind of got my, the name for myself. So we were at a KGH Foundation at the Hangar. So we're out at the Hangar in Kelowna, and it was the first fundraiser for the KGH, and I was invited myself and Katia by uh, some people. And they said, you've got to get involved. So we go out there, and then there's an auction. Oh, you, oh, I know you love auctions. Auction. Auction. Auctions, gee, that's a kryptonite. Because that's where I end up with a whole bunch of cows and horses when I had the farm, which is probably not a great decision, but it made great stories. Yes. So we're sitting at this, this auction. I'm like, geez, that's kind of a cool painting, whatever. The money that was all raised from this went to the KGH Foundation. And yeah, we've done a lot. We've, and you do that in Victoria. And we do it in Victoria with the Victoria Hospital Foundation. Victoria Hospital it, Foundation. We've done stuff there as well with the mustard seed. We've done a lot with, with mental health in this last few years. Mm -hmm. We've done, been tremendous supporters of that. And you know, since we've been in town, we've been able to put um, conservatively hundreds of thousands of dollars back into the communities that support us mm -hmm. um, through, through, I guess, through philanthropy and also encouraging other people to give. Because I think it's so critically important, and a lot of businesses I think are missing this, is they go into a town, and especially if they're from out of town, and they don't give back. So a lot of the companies that we compete, I guess we would compete with, on, especially on some of the bigger equipment, mm -hmm. you know, their, their head offices are, are down in you know, Eastern Canada, in Toronto, or in Montreal, and then you know, the profits come out of this community, they go down east, and then either they get filtered through the states or they go back to Japan. We're dealing with businesses such as, you know, local business such as ours, um, the profits stay in the communities, mm -hmm. and we do give back. But yeah, a lot's happening. I mean, business has been growing. We've done, you know... So what direction are you you know, taking, taking Innovate, like, I, I, I mean, you just took over. Um, you know, expansion in Alberta has been a big, big piece. So big we piece. see that as a huge growth opportunity. I think there's as much opportunity there as in British Columbia. I mean, I'm also looking at, I don't know if there's strategic acquisitions within, within the company, but my, my focus is definitely growth. Mm -hmm. You're either growing or you're dying. There's yeah. kind of no in between. Yeah. I wouldn't have done this uh, without the support of my family. No. There's, there's no doubt about it. And, and also and, but the it support of my other activities that I like to do. You know, like on a weekend, I'm like, I got to go fish. Just go fishing. Get out of here. I just need that little bit of that break time. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm very happy. Andre, I'm, 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 I'm sure we're going to see much, much more of you <laughs> coming out. And, yeah. uh, and I'm, you know, I'm all the way with you. So you got my support. You always will. And you've been, you've been an amazing friend and, and, and philanthropy, philanthropist in this town. So, yeah, thanks to you for having us out here. And, uh, and sharing a little bit more, and uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah, sure appreciate it. Thanks so much, Mara. Thanks, buddy.